One dead dozens rescued. Two months of rain in one day in New South Wales. One man has died in flash flooding as severe storms battered areas in and around Sydney. Dozens of people have been evacuated. Emergency services has had almost 600 calls for help with more wild weather on the way. Residents at a caravan park near Shell Harbour were forced to scramble to safety after floodwaters inundated the park. A third day of torrential rains. 200 millimetres dumped on Sydney, two months' worth in just six hours. Police pulled the body of a 40-year-old man suspected of drowning from a stormwater bridge and Borilla on the New South Wales south coast. Rescue crews have been overwhelmed by calls for help. This farmer watched as his paddock was swallowed up by the rising water, scrambling onto a tractor to be winched to safety. Dozens of people have been evacuated from the savage storm, including a group of preschool children. Police are warning people to stay indoors and, where possible, off the roads. Some residents waded into the streets wanting to witness the wild weather for themselves, while others became accidental heroes. These three cars up here that just slid and there was an old man inside that was having a bit of trouble, so got him out of the car and there was an ambulance and now I've just been helping guide and traffic. Entire neighbourhoods are now underwater and there's no telling how long roads near the airport will be closed. We're looking at uh, further rain across Sydney and possible thunderstorms uh, for the rest of today and Tuesday. Severe weather warnings remain in place tonight. Another 250 millimetres is expected to pummel the south coast before morning. Jacqueline Maddock, 10 News.